Hi guys, welcome to Remy's World. Tonight we'll be going over how to use tretinoin. Tretinoin is a vitamin A, which is considered the gold standard in exfoliation. It requires a dermatologist's prescription. You can also get it online through NeurRx, Muesli, Agency, Curology. There are a myriad of sites through which you can get tretinoin. It's been around for 50 years, so we know that it has a lot of research backing it up. Tretinoin is used to fight acne, it builds up collagen, it helps with smoothening the skin texture, it fights fine lines and wrinkles. Now, when using tretinoin, you have to be very patient because it takes about six months to a year to see results. But just trust the process and be patient because the final result will be mwah. you will have young, beautiful, glowy, fresh skin. Now, it does have adverse effects like peeling and uh, purging, which is just, you know, a severe outbreak of acne. But do not be alarmed. Do not stop using it. Just hang in there. It is recommended that we start with the lowest percentage and work our way up which is 0 0.025 and then 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. Now, is it necessary to just keep going up in strength? If the strength you're currently using is working, then you can just stay there. We have this misconception that the higher the percentage, the more efficacious the ingredient. Not necessarily. At times, we're just aggravating our skin unnecessarily. It's also recommended that we also are gradual in how we use it. Um, start with once a week, go to twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, thereby giving our skin the time to acclimate to tretinoin, once again reducing the adverse effects. It's recommended that we use tretinoin during our nighttime routine, and then in the morning, use sunscreen. And even if you do not use tretinoin, it is advisable to always use sunscreen, especially for those of us who are deeply melanated. We do need sunscreen. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the skincare routine. So I'm going to start with Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. And this is what it looks like. I usually start out with a double cleanse, but first I will quickly wash my hands because um, I do not want to transfer bacteria as I reach into products. And there is what the Elemis looks like. As you can see, I reach for it a lot because my product is already almost halfway through. Now this particular balm you can also leave on your face for 10 minutes and use it as a mask. But I'm not going to do that tonight, you know, because of time constraints. Now, it is advisable to treat your face, your neck, and your decolletage as one unit. So you take your products down, with the exception of the tretinoin. You do not want to put it on your neck because the neck skin tends to be very sensitive. But as far as your other products, you want to treat your face, your neck, your decolletage. And in my case, my hands is one unit. I'm not doing my neck and my decolletage right now because um, I mean, I'm not in a towel. Now I know doing that will make us use more products but you do not want a situation where you just take care of your face and you neglect your neck and your decolletage and then you have a face that looks 10 years younger than your neck and your decolletage. And for those who are in their early teens and 20s, if you start this habit now, you'll thank me later. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into The second step of my double cleanse, and I will be reaching for CeraVe Hydrating 
wash. Now I like to use these towelettes as opposed to a washcloth. I get it on Amazon from the Clean Skin Club. That's the Clean Skin Club. I do not like to use washcloths for the same reason, uh, which is not wanting to transfer bacteria. Now, I will be reaching for niacinamide, the ordinary niacinamide, 10% and zinc, 1%. And this is what it looks like. Now, niacinamide marries very well with tretinoin. It is recommended that we allow our skin to dry out prior to applying the tretinoin. Now, when applying the tretinoin, we want to do what is called a sandwich method. What that simply means is that we first apply moisturizer, then we apply tretinoin, and then moisturize over it again, hence the sandwich method. I'll be going in with Number gen, number one, Purple Complex Moisture Balancing Soothing Cream. And this is what it looks like. Now, it is also recommended that those who have particularly sensitive skin should consider using Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment to protect this area this area and this areas of the face and this is what the CeraVe healing ointment looks like i don't usually use it but for the sake of this video i'm going to go ahead and apply it so you simply apply it here here and here to protect those areas because when you are sleeping, those are the areas where the tretinoin can pool and cause irritation. So now I am using the tretinoin 0.05% and this is what it looks like. 
Now you just want to use a pea size amount, like so. And then apply it using the spot method, which is just simply button it all over your face so you can apply thinly across your face. Like I said, I do not apply it to my neck because my neck is too sensitive. And um, some people get, get to the point where they can do that. But I avoid the neck area. You also want to be careful because the skin around the eye is also quite sensitive. Then you go over it again with moisturizer, hence why it's called the sandwich method. That is how you apply tretinoin. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video. See you in the next video. Au revoir.